afternoon and welcome to Nutripoly Bank's first episode of Helpful Hints. Today we're going to talk about mail check fraud. You may have heard us talk about this recently on Facebook Live, but we're seeing this trend in the local area and we figured we'd cover it again. And this is not going away. In fact, the current statistics said that there's been a 600% increase in the past three years in mail check fraud according to the United States Postal Inspection Service. So let's first talk about uh, what check mail fraud is. Uh, it's basically when some, you are sending a check through the mail and someone steals that check out of the mail, changes the payee or, and or the dollar amount in order to um, cash it or deposit it uh, for their own benefit. Um, normally these get stolen out of either your personal mailbox if you send your text through there or even the uh, blue post office mailboxes that you see on the sidewalk. Uh, there are ways uh, to get around this though. Uh, first of all, if you are comfortable with paying your online bills, we recommend that you do that. Um, as long as you keep your antivirus software on your computer up to date and keep your password secure, your information is relatively safe. If however, you are not comfortable with using uh, online payments, um, if you would still like to send uh, checks through the mail to pay your bills, you can do that. We would recommend that you would either take the checks directly into the post office to mail or um, hand them directly to a post office employee. The point here is that you do not you want to avoid uh, sending your checks either through your own mailbox or uh, the blue post office mailboxes um, because that is where they are uh, vulnerable to theft. Another tip that we have is to use felt tip or gel pen on your checks so that way it can prevent the fraudsters from being able to easily alter the amount or the payee on the check. And also if you do need to use a blue mailbox, try and use it at the last, before the last collection time of the day. This prevents the fraudsters from being able to access it quickly before they empty it. Also watch out for suspicious substances on the outside of the box. This could be a sign that someone's trying to use like a safety substance to fish in the actual box. Um, also, if you would do this, go to another blue mailbox in the area or go to your local post office if they're open to mail the check. Also, um, if you have been a victim of a check scam, please feel free to reach out to us at the bank at any of our office numbers. Also, there is a 1-800 number, which is 1-877-876-2453 for the United States Postal Service that you can report mail scams such as this to them so that they are aware. We thank you again for watching our video today on our first helpful hint and we hope you have a wonderful afternoon.